Hi and welcome to this quick Leonardo AI tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a broad overview of all the options and tools there are in Leonardo AI and how to use them to get optimal results. Okay, let's get right into it. Up in the corner here you have your credits and I'll go into more details on how many credits you need for a image generation for example, but you can almost do everything with the free version. It's just limited to your tokens or generations per day. And it will always show you here how many hours are left until you have 150. 50 tokens again. So let's start with the community feed. Here you basically have different um, pictures that people upload. You can search for trending or just new ones or the top images. And then if you hover over it, you can like it or you can see the prompts. You can also search here for different things and it will give you images based on that search. Next up is the personal feed. Here you can see the recent generations. You have your followers feed if you follow something and you like photos. Then you have your training and data set. Here is where you can create your custom the models. I want to keep the tutorial as short as possible, so I won't give you a detailed description on how you can create your own models. But basically, um, you can upload images here to your model and train your own model. If you would like a detailed video about that, please let me know in the comments below. Next up, we have our models. These are pre-trained models by Leonardo AI. And we have different ones like Leonardo Diffusion or RPG4. Um, these are models that give you more realistic outputs, but there are a lot of different ones. And if you can't find the right model here for your needs, you also have community models up here. Here, there are hundreds of models you can search through um, to find the right style for you. All right, that's it with the options you have here. Let's get right into our tools. Now we have image generation, AI canvas and texture generation. But let's start with AI image generation. So this is our image generation interface. If we look to our left, we have our different options. Here you can see your recently generated images and here you can enter your prompt. So let's start at the left. Up here, you can see your tokens and also right here on the side, if you want to generate something, it will show you how many tokens it will cost. Here are the number of images that should be generated when you enter a prompt. I most of the time have it at two or maybe four, but just remember if you put it on four, it will of course uh, will cost you more tokens. Down here, we have prompt magic. I most of the time have it turned off, but it can help you create images closer to your prompt. You also have some different option here. So if you turn it on, the contrast and how much the prompt magic will affect your prompt. I will leave it turned off for now. Then you have your image dimensions here. You can choose whatever you want, but you already see you get this warning here because the model I'm using, Leonardo Diffusion, is trained on 1024 by 1024 pixels. So it works best if you select this resolution. But like I said, you have full control over it. You can also um, work with these sliders if you would like and that's completely up to you also we have the aspect ratio here if you would like to select something else and then we've got this guidance scale this basically gives you control over how much the model should be creative or stick to your prompt and if i go above 10 or below 5 you already can see um, i get this warning again because it could create unwanted results most of the time i have it at 7 and it works really great for me and then down here, we have control net, tiling, and image to image. I will show you how these work in a second, but I would like to show you an example image generation with these settings. All right, so up here, you can enter your prompt. You can just type in whatever you would like and hope for the best. I also always like to get inspiration from the community feed here and look what they typed in their prompts. If I find something similar to what I want to generate or um, I can recommend a website Lexica. Here, you can also just look for inspiration or uh, type in whatever you would like to generate and it will give you a bunch of results and if you like some of these, you can just copy the prompt here. In this case, it's a really simple prompt. So uh, yeah, it wasn't really necessary, but just for the example. And you can change, I don't know, rabbit to a lion, for example. And then I also um, like to add stuff like hyper-realistic, ultra-realistic and 8K. It just makes the image look uh, better at the end result. And then it will show you how many tokens it will use. So um, you just click on generate. And in a few seconds, it will give you these results. They actually look not that bad. So um, it worked pretty well. Also, of course, you can change the model you are using. These models really give a lot of different results. So I would recommend playing around with these. If you can't find a model you want to use um, here, you can select custom model. And then you have these community models or platform models. And you can just choose them and work with them. 
And of course, you can just play around with these. You can, for example, add sitting in a temple. And then you can also add these negative prompts when, for example, the face is somehow scrambled up or, I don't know, the fingers aren't right. You can add the negative prompt and it will try to fix it. It doesn't necessarily mean that it will be 100% perfect, but it just gives you a little bit more control over your image. And already we get some really great results. Of course, not everything is perfect, but I think they are already pretty great. And if you hover over these images, you get a lot of different options. You can download the image, you can unzoom the image, it's in the beta phase and for me most of the time it didn't work but you could try maybe it works for you you can remove the background that also works partly partly not and we have different upscalers a smooth upscaler crisp upscaler alternative upscaler or creative upscaler and you can also use this image for image to image down here and you can also edit it in canvas you can also generate prompts and i think you have 1000 prompts in total and you can just enter a basic prompt idea um, whatever it is and it will create you a more complex better prompt all right now let's really quickly go over control net tiling and image to image with image to image you can basically upload any image you have and this image will influence how your output generation will look like with the init strength you can determine how much influence this image has over your final generation. You can also use control net, but only with stable diffusion 1.5. So in the models, you have to select stable diffusion 1.5 in order to be able to check control net. And here you have more options. You can um, use post to image, edge to image, or depth to image. And with the slider, you can determine how much influence control net should have. And if you want to place um, your image multiple times next to each other, tiling will give you a seamless transition over these images. Yeah, that's it for the image generation tool in Leonardo AI. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And now let's go to AI Canvas. So when we open Canvas, it will look something like this. To our right, we again have the same options um, that we had in our image generation. And to our left, we have some different tools. With the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. You can hold left click and drag the view around. So what Canvas basically does is you can import an image or just create an image with a prompt right here. And it will let you add multiple parts to your image. I will show you this with this example. If you just import an image here, you can do that by upload image from computer previous or from community. Um, if you go from community, you will just have this community tab and you can select whatever image you would like. And then um, you can place this window. Um, you again have these options to make it bigger or smaller. You can also determine the size of this image. And then you want to place this window so that at least one third is covering the image already. So Leonardo AI is able to look at this image and based on it, create everything else. And now you have to either create your own prompt based on what you are seeing here, or if this is already a image made by Leonardo AI, you can just uh, copy the prompt. Of course, you can um, just type any prompt here and create your own images. I will just copy this and then click generate. And now it created four different options for us. You see, some of them um, might not work as well but others really work pretty well. You can also draw a mask and erase something if you like. And you can um, erase in general the image or just only the mask if you check this button and you can erase the mask and have more control over this. And yeah, I don't want to go into much detail um, here, but you can also download then this artwork. And like I said, you can upload any image you have and just generate um, another part of it. So that's a really powerful tool in my, in my opinion. And lastly, we have texture generation. I will not get into too much detail here because it's basically just for people that work with 3D objects, but it's a really cool tool. Um, it's just an alpha, so it's not perfect. So what you basically do, you can upload any 3D object. And I already did a texture generation because it takes about 10 minutes, I think. Yeah, what it basically does, you can enter a prompt on what, what texture you would like, and then it will generate that texture on your 3D model. And it will even give you the different maps, like albedo, normal, roughness, and displacement maps. And you can see it's not perfect by any means, but it might really help a lot of people save a lot of time. So that's another extra feature that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's it with the video. I hope I could give you a broad overview of Leonardo AI and how the tools work. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.